Hello, hello, this is Chromanim, Chrome for short, and today we're gonna start a new playthrough of Stalker Gamma. We're gonna go for the Invictus achievement, which basically means we're gonna start on the hardest difficulty. Both gameplay and progression, we're not allowed to change any settings in the menu. And we are going to go Iron Man mode with only two lives. So we are allowed to die once, second time, the game deletes your save files. All right, so to make it a bit more easy, um, I generally don't like loners. I mean, they're okay, but Rookie Village, I kind of end up getting stuck in there, so um, I prefer to start as duty. We still have most of the same enemies, except military. And we're going to be hunting freedom, which hopefully will give us some NATO weapons, if we're lucky, of course. And uh, that's it. Of course, we're going to be starting in Rostock, which is really nice to set up a base. It's right in the center of the zone. We've got access to the south for farming. And it's also really close to the northern parts just a step away from army warehouses where we could probably get some weapons or wild territory where we could farm some marks, maybe. Now, to start off, I generally like taking the Colt M1911. It's a very good weapon still with the 45 ACP Hydroshock. It's amazing for killing mutants early game. And the bullets are pretty, pretty uh, bountiful. Okay, I'll also take the gas mask, of course, and the better armor. And we'll also grab just a few meds and two Yadelins. All right, let's start up. And here we are in Rostock. I'll Make sure to equip all the gear. And I'll also move the knife up here, pistol down there, just to make it easier to reach. I generally like my pistol to be on the one key. And I also don't usually use binoculars. I'll try and get a scope as fast as possible. So that will take care of that. Now, the first thing, we're gonna talk to the general here and see what he has for us. All right. Then I'll jump straight into the task board. I set it up with a larger scan range so I can cover the whole base. That's in the mod setup. And I've also, speaking of mod setup, of course, I've also increased the bullet drops a little bit just to make it a slightly just slightly, slightly easier, because Gamma's unforgiving enough, and Invictus is even worse. So we're just gonna give ourselves a little bit of advantage. All right, so for delivery tasks, I generally don't take anything that's not really, really close. It ends up weighing you down for, for a lot of the way, and early on, being overweight is not fun. Okay. I might actually visit Meadow, so that should be easy. It's a pretty small place, so the signals should be easy to find. And I'll generally take pretty much anything that asks you to kill something. Because even if we don't reach that, that spot, someone else might do it for us. So let's just grab everything. Oh, neat. Encrypted documents. This is basically a free stash. We just have to bring something back. After that, I'm not gonna fight Clear Sky. There are there they're pretty nice guys. And actually I don't remember if uh, we're enemies with them. No, we're not as duty. It's been some time since I've played as duty, so uh, bear with me if I'm making a few mistakes. 
Okay, we'll probably not reach army warehouses too soon, but I'll take this as well, just in case. And another one, sure. All right, let's see. Generally for mutant parts, I will not take the missions unless I actually have the part on me. Uh, mostly because uh, I've had problems with uh, stalkers dying before I get to turn in the missions, and uh, I don't really like uh, losing reputation just because of that. Drug making kit? Sure, I probably will not be making drugs anytime soon, so we'll just grab that. Okay, and finally, from Ukraine with love is... Um, uh weird one mostly because um, we we are supposed to save a guy that's hiding uh, among enemies uh, usually he carries an S SVD so he should be easy to spot but not always and uh, if you have any companions around they will also shoot him before you sometimes before you get to save him so uh, it's not fun. So I'll just keep that either for later or maybe I won't do it at all. Let's just grab things laying around. There's usually a couple of crates here, but apparently not this time. And I'm gonna quickly sell this. I don't usually bother with the quick release system. It takes a spot in your quick keys and uh, yeah I generally try not to be overweight so I don't need to drop my backpack okay and I'll also favorite our ammo and I'm gonna buy some hydroshock that's too much okay 28 bullets I hope we make it with this Okay, let's see what we have. I am not going to wild territory, not just yet. Uh, mercs are not very happy to see a duty coming around. And uh, I, I'm not very confident, actually, <laughs> in killing them. There's quite a lot of them. So we will go to garbage first. We'll drop by the flea market, see if there's anyone there. We might have to fight our way past the checkpoint, and then we'll go grab our stash. Apparently our friends are fighting probably some dogs here at the southern entrance to, to Rostock. Uh, just as a note, I have... Okay, those are not dogs. Is that a bure? A pseudo-giant. Okay, not going close to that one. But maybe he'll be nice enough to deal with our duty friends. But we can do them, of course. Now, as a note, I have disabled the uh, loot claiming system, uh, mod for, for uh, NPCs just because uh, I always found it annoying to play around. walked into that one should be a bit more careful for a moment there I forgot I'm doing Iron Man okay where are these guys oh there they are awfully close to this anomaly maybe we can just nip in here 
Okay, I'll take all the parts that could be usable. Would be great to get an early shotgun. Oh, wow. I'm actually tempted to just take this, maybe keep it for fixing later. And of course, the 105 can also be upgraded into uh, a Shakal or a Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing being my most favorite 556 weapon. But uh, since we're duty, well, we won't really have access to any 55. All right, that makes it easy. Full barrel and two good parts. Okay. And we actually have a bolt carrier off the 105. Let's see, is it the same one? Yes, it is. All right, I'll just take this off from here and put it in this. And it's got a silencer as well. Nice. We probably won't have a lot of bullets for it, for it early on. Hmm. Uh, 9 by 18 ammo is a little bit weak. So I'll just take the part and uh, go my own way. Okay, what do you have? Holy crap, I still can't believe how lucky this was. A pseudo giant in Rostock. Of course, all of our friends will respawn later. Oh, wow. And the good condition barrel, Remington. Okay. I, I, I'm at loss for words. Wow. <laughs> This is probably the best start I ever ha had in Stalker. Now all we have to do is uh, finish fixing these. Uh, oh, another one. Hmm, a bison, but nothing good off of it. I'll take the suppressor off of this. It's just a little bit of money. And disassemble the rest. Okay, anyone else died around here? Wow. Okay, some parts. And the headgear set. I wonder if this is fixable. I mean, without the medium tools. I'll just grab everything from here, disassemble these. And now I'll just uh, jump right back into Rostock. And um, actually, I haven't checked behind these crates here. No, nope, we're good. Okay, so we'll go back to Rostock, stash what we got. And then continue on our planned way to garbage, actually. While grabbing everything up that's lying around on the way, of course. Okay, we also had a PDA drop, so let's see what's in here. Okay, so I'm gonna need to unlock that. It's all good, the mechanic's right around the corner. And it's not actually expensive to unlock these. And they may reward the stash. Hopefully. Now our first first priorities are getting basic tools, which only come from stashes. There is a a small chance for them to drop off of green stashes, but of course of course they compete with other tool sets like uh, gunsmith tools, uh, medical tools, 
So, uh, sometimes they can be really easy to get. Other times it could be ours. So let's see if we're lucky. Uh, I will keep one glow stick. Just in case uh, I need some lightning since, since I don't have a flashlight yet. Uh, the rest I'll sell. And uh, also I generally don't keep the bullets I don't use. Except 545, 556. Which we will need later. I'll even favorite them just in case. Okay. As for the 9x18, until we actually get a 9x18 weapon, I'll just get rid of them. And also, any part that's under 60%, which I can't repair right now, will be discarded. Okay, Mechanic doesn't have a gas system, which is kind of sad. Would have been too, too nice to start out with a gas system, wouldn't it? Uh, did I mark these as favorite? No, I didn't. There we go. Okay. Nothing to repair. Whoops. As for this, we'll just uh, throw them in the stash and we'll come back to them later. Unfortunately, this is 41%, so there's no way I can repair it under 65% without tools. In this case, for medium armor, which it is, right? Yep. If you click details, you can see what type of uh, uh, armor kit you need to repair it. And this is medium armor, which usually means uh, advanced weapons. And we have a staff right here, and I'll just drop everything, including the AK, since uh, I don't really want to use it with the damaged gas system. And its condition is kind of low as well. Oh, I forgot to unlock the PDA, so just have to jump back to the mechanic. I'll drop one battery. Don't want any extra weight. I'll sell these. Um, the meat as well, and all of these we will not need yet. Okay, what what I can sell to the mechanic, I will sell to him just because he has better better prices than the general tradesman. Um, so these can go. And I think that's it. Uh, as for mutant parts, those are best sold to Butcher. I might end up hoarding them just because uh, there are a lot of quests that ah, that require mutant parts. And it's really nice to have a little stash of mutant parts to, to complete the quests as they are given to you. All right, back to mechanic. Let's unlock this PDA, see what's on it. Maybe we get a stash. 500 rubles, sure, no problem. All right, let's view it. And nothing, unfortunately. But we'll still get some money off of selling it. Now, I'm not sure if this is true or not, um, but in my experience, selling the PDAs to this guy right here, he will also always take them, I find gives a little bit more money than giving them to, to Barman. Okay, I think we're good. I'm just gonna go quickly get some more bullets wrong way <laughs> because if we go to garbage i i expect 
do fight some boars, some dogs, zombies, snorks, maybe even lurkers. Hopefully, not too many. Because I only have so, so many bullets. <laughs> okay, and 55 FMJ should be enough for dealing with any unwanted stalkers, probably at the checkpoint, do raw stock in the garbage. Oh, look at him, all alone. Ah, oh, don't worry, your friends will come back later. Well, not the same friends, but... Ooh, rubles. Hmm. Uh, but some friends. Dilute these, yes. Alright, moving on. in here? Nope. Okay, since there's nothing here, I'll switch to FMJ. Just to be ready for what's waiting for me at the checkpoint. And once we get there, we'll see how we proceed, depending on how many there are. Okay. Gonna just move around slowly and hope they don't see us. If there are enemies there. Uh, the best hope would be if they start fighting with the guys in flea market. Okay, duty. A nice and easy entrance to the garbage. This doesn't always happen. Usually you find either bandits or mercenaries. But we were lucky this time. Okay. Just gonna pick up everything around here. Let's see if they have anything for us. Deliver the package to Rostock. Of course! It's just a step away. And another one. Okay. This is from Butcher. Again, as I said, I increased the range of the task board to the max. So, apparently, it's far enough that I even get the Butcher quests. Which is nice. We'll go visit him anyway. Maybe buy some bullets, because they're nice and cheap. Search and rescue in Cordon. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to Cordon at some point. Search the stash. This is a free stash. Of course, we'll take this one. As for the rest, let's see. Normally, I would take this, but since the guy is just moving around through garbage, you never know when these guys are going to die. And you'll fail the quest with no fault of your own. So, uh, I, I just won't. Not unless I actually have the things on me. Alright, let's go say hi to the guys in the flea market. Grab anything laying around here. Yeah, 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 I'll put it away, don't worry. Ooh, it's a 762 barrel. Not that I can use it yet, but... It's nice to have, and it's about 
I'll just quickly disassemble all of these so they don't weigh us down. Okay, where do we have to go? Hmm. Interdict enemy forces. I'm gonna guess these, these are either bandits or mercenaries. Just do a cheeky little quick save here. And I will actually try and draw them out here. And maybe our loner friends can, can help us deal with them. There may also be some things down here. There we go, some ammo. Including 9x39. I'm just going to favorite these. If we reach that far, I would love to have all the ammo for an RD 9x39 stacked up. And that will be our main objective for the end game. Oh, thought that was an enemy. Simply because that, that weapon just uh, cuts through enemies, especially Sin. So it would be a nice thing to have. And it's never too early to start stockpiling ammo. Bit of radiation there. Where are the enemies? Oh, just a bandit. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Oh, two of them. Okay. That's one. Alright, we got him. Very nice. Now, before you judge, my aim is not the best. <laughs> but I do have my moments. What you got? Hmm, a toss. Broken toss. Just take these, thank you. And let's run out of here. Ooh, walkie talkie. Okay, next up. That stash. Ooh. There's one of my targets fighting mutants. nice if we get a free kill maybe even get to loot them after without having to fight anyone okay always be careful around here because I have seen stalkers bandits mercenaries whatever run around that area and I've taken a bullet to the head from a sniper there all too many times. What do we got there? Fleshes. I don't see any boars, which is good. So we can approach, keep the anomaly between us and them, just in case they decide to get... Uh, Too close to me. Ah, they're fighting dogs. Cool. I'm just gonna let them fight. I don't want to waste bullets right now.
Well, that's done it. Apparently our friends to the south are still fighting. I can hear some gunfire there. Just grab everything around here. And before we go further south, I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm gonna pay Butcher a visit. have some mutant parts but I don't want to sell anything to him yet I do want to as I said make a little stockpile of stuff um, we could sell some ammo though I'm pretty sure a mechanic will pay more for it okay moving on Oh, relax. I have noticed in the latest patch that uh, friendlies get really jumpy when you run around with a gun. But I'll just join him, uh, them here near the campfire for a little bit. Maybe uh, regen some health. What he said. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Okay, so I have 70 bullets left and seven in the gun. Let's hope that's enough. Are they still all there? Well, apparently the stalkers died, which is good. There's no way I can loot that dog. No. Gonna keep an eye on that left side. There may be boars. Zombies to the left, and what's the thing that actually killed my my targets even more to the south? I, I wonder. Oh, they're dead now. But what killed them? I won't lie, this has me a little bit worried since I don't know what what the hell's there. I didn't hear gunshots. And to the best of my knowledge, mutants don't bleed out. Okay, it was dogs. Well, free meat. Okay, and as for our stalker friends, I don't see any bodies around. wonder where they died. Hmm. 
Hmm. Artifact here, maybe? Oh, there's definitely something here. That's a stash, which we don't have yet. Ooh, that's close. Ah, there we go. Tapeworm. Ah, it's a small chance to stun a mutant that gets too close. Um, honestly, I would rather just uh, sell it when we get to Yantar. Since the scientists will pay a bit more for artifacts. Okay, let's see if we can deal with those zombies now. Remember to always double tap your zombies, kids. Don't want to have any surprises. Okay. Alright, some meds. Okay, and now we can finally go get this, that stash. Where was this again? Oh, I had the wrong thing tagged. Oh boy, that's a stash that's basically between gravity anomalies. Um, let's see if we can get to it without dying. We'll just take it nice and easy, step by step, and uh, see what we get out of it. I'm sticking a bit higher up the mountain, just in case a mutant shows up. Um, mutants and other stalkers actually can get up here. I don't think they have pathing for it. So, uh, top of the mountain is safe. Well, from melee at least. Just make sure you don't stay up there when there's a merc trying to snipe your head off. <laughs> okay, oh, it's behind here. Is it in the crook? Under the crook? In the other crook? This one. Not here. Did I just hear anomaly triggering? Okay, that's a bit worrying. Is it under? No. Oh, there it is. What's this? Load bearing. I mean, it's a little bit better, but not enough to be worth fixing, so let's just take it apart and move on. And then we'll go right back to Butcher, turn in that mission. And we got a few missions completed for the duty in Rostock. Hopefully that'll net us some stash coordinates. Would be beautiful if we get a green one. For those juicy, juicy basic tools. 
I'm not gonna go through the back. Simply because there might be a pack of boar there, boars there, and uh, I really don't want to deal with those. Not until I have a shotgun, at least. Hello there, sir. The job is done. Wrong button. Now the job is done. <laughs> okay, and with this money, I'll actually buy all your Hydroshock, sir. Okay, since I don't expect to be fixing our shotgun soon, I'll just take all the Hydroshock I can get. Even more there. Wonderful. Any other missions you got for me? Don't really have any large amount of meat or mutant parts to give, so let's just move on. Back to Rostock, get a bit more geared up, get some meds, get some more bullets. Fix our stuff, and uh, then we'll start our way to Corden, where we have a couple of things to do. Nothing else here, just making sure before I leave. No, nope, we're good, okay. Hello friends, don't mind me. It's been just a little bit of time, so I don't I don't expect there to be any mutants at the entrance. But we'll stay on our toes just in case. Talker does have a wonderful way of uh, pulling the rug from under your feet when you don't really pay attention. I'm even considering doing some med just to get my, my health up to max, but uh, since it, it's really early in the run, I'll just risk it. Seems like we're good. Yep, we're safe. And here we are, back in Rostock. And out of stamina. The good thing I wasn't running from dogs here. Would have been a really fun death. Let's go deliver the package first, get rid of some weight. There's a little short shortcut here. To jump and uh, fully crouch, as in go prone. You can actually pass through that little window. Saves just a little bit of time. Hello, friend. We have a package for you. We have two packages for you, apparently. <laughs> Alright. We've got three of both types of vodka. 
Um, which we probably will keep. Because um, the Nemirov vodka is... Uh, can be traded in Yantar <clears throat> for um, ammo. You can even pick the type of ammo, which is really good. And Tutinka is really good for cooking. Uh, mostly uh, advanced meals, which actually give give buffs. We won't be doing that right now. We'll try and uh, scrounge a living off of whatever we can find. Okay, I'll just get rid of these. Thank you. I'll keep the buckshot just in case we need it. Still no rifle parts. That's alright. Do a quick repair on this. And I should probably buy an armor repair kit. Just to keep our things in top shape. Just a glue tube. We should have some bandit masks in our stash. Which I looted specifically to uh, help with repairs. Both ammo, uh, both weapon and armor repairs. Sorry for the stutter. Um, again, a pretty big bonus from uh, pieces of materials. So bandit masks, this uh, tarpaulin that we have here. Okay, um, would you let me pass, please? I, I need to steal from the bar. Thank you. More vodka, even more vodka. Right? And there might be some things out here as well. Tomatoes, we well, should be covered with food for a little while, at least. Ah, can't pick that. Have a little talk with this guy. And we'll come back later and maybe we'll start the uh, legendary stalker hunt. Which is always fun for the late game. Even if, if we don't finish it, we'll still mark some legendary stalkers for us if, in case we are desperate for gear. But that's a long way away, so let's not worry about that right now. Where was the last one? There we go, at the other checkpoint. Oh, and we also have a stash here. Was it the barrel? Yes. Okay. This is not bad. Just take these apart. Upgrade kit. This will be nice when we get the basic tools. Maybe upgrade our pistol. Job is done. Okay, that morphine will be really useful for when we get in gunfights. Uh, I accidentally threw, threw it on the floor by trying to sprint. <laughs> okay, as for the mine, right now I will sell it. I used to stash mines in the early game. Uh, just so I can get past uh, the monolith and radar. Well, in the Brain Scorcher, actually, to be exact. But um, right now, they no longer spawn after you finish. They spawn when you enter. And uh, the duration of uh, the Phantom Star has also been reduced, which uh, makes mining the Monolith a little bit harder. 
So we'll just play fair and uh, try and kill him the usual way. Gonna drop what we have here in the stash. Hmm, do I keep this? Nah, not right now. Won't need these. I will keep one gun repair kit just in case we need it. You never know when your gun will uh, get broken enough to need repairs. I will drop off the vodka. Some beer as well. And I don't really need that much food. Okay, that should save some weight. Okay, and let's fix our armor. I'll just use this. There's not really any need. And a copper wire for this. Okay. Drop these back. Can these be disassembled? No, we'll just sell them. Of this. Okay. Let's grab some meds. Always get grab the ibuprofen. Since most of the damage will be done to limbs. And it's an easy heal combined with bandages. I also just noticed that I forgot to drop drop off the 545 ammo. Let's just check with the colonel first. See what he has for us. Oh, we have to meet with Beard. Uh, well, this is something we won't do for quite some time. This Beard is all the way in the ass end of the zone to the north. <laughs> so, until then, we're gonna have to pass through the Miracle Machine, maybe the Brain Scorcher. It's not really needed, but uh, I would like to shut it down before. Okay. So, we're ready to head back. But, all this and more the next time we hear each other. So, goodbye everyone, have a great day, and till next time.